right here. I'm going to do a small video today. So in this pan right here, I have some chicken drumsticks. I have um, some pineapples. Then I have brown sugar. I added some ground ginger. I'm going to add a little bit more to that. I added some um, soy sauce. And I'm going to add the Hawaiian um, juice, fruit juices. Then I also have two cans of pineapples. I added one can to my pants already. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a little bit more brown sugar back to this pan. So that's a can and a half. And so is this pan. And I have a stick of butter in each pan. So I'm doing um, a sweet Hawaiian chicken. I'm going to add a little bit of ground ginger to that. This is just my own twist of my um, Hawaiian pineapple chicken. Sweet Hawaiian pineapple chicken. I did the soy sauce. I could drizzle just a pinch more. I'm chopping the brown sugar on it. So I am using the light brown sugar. It's your choice of brown sugar. It's your choice of whatever pineapples you want to use. It's your choice of um, maybe the spices you wanted to use. I switched it up this time to use um, ground ginger. And I like the Hawaiian um, sauce. So my oven is on 350. I don't know if you can see that. That's on 350. I'm gonna let it cook for I guess anywhere up to up to two hours. So we got chicken drumsticks, pineapple, butter, or oh, pineapple chunks, butter, Hawaiian um juices. Soy sauce. And I use the ground ginger. And the light brown sugar. Just to um like saute it up. And two sticks of butter. I use one butter for this pan. One stick for this pan, one stick for that pan. So I'm going to put that in the oven and I'll come back to you guys later. The car clean? Yeah. All right. I'll be cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I have some sweet Hawaiian um, chicken in this pan. It's been cooking for a while. And I use the drumsticks, the pineapple juice, the pineapple the brown sugar, um, the soy sauce, and let that cook for a while. All right. And 
I had some um, shrimps in here, and I put garlic salt and flour. I already got a couple in the pan frying. I also have um, like a cup and a half of water for some jasmine. I'm going to use two cups of this jasmine rice. And this is some good old rice. The jasmine rice. requested fried strips today. So that'll be our meal. Fried strips. Sweet Hawaiian chicken. And some jasmine rice. Only garlic salt on here and flour. I like my music, but my kids are in the living room watching TV today, and they've been very quiet today. We're getting a little break today. I know I don't need music for every video, but that's how I prefer to do it. Wash my hands. Alright, that's a pretty golden brown shrimp. Fried shrimp. And I'm about to taste for myself. <laughs> In the meantime, while that cook. I'm gonna have a nice bottle of wine. Cheers to a happy new year and a better 2021. Okay. So, my jasmine rice is cooking. I'm using the wrong spoon, by the way. Much better for a brand new um, nasty pan. The 
check these straps. I would say let them cook two to three minutes on each side, depending on how you like it. If you want it crispy, then you can cook it a little longer. But for me, I think I'll do about three minutes on each side. It looks like fried coconut shrimps. I make shrimps, I have to make my kids they own like separate bag because they love shrimps. My wines, all different flavors, and this 8% alcohol. I get it from my local, um, is it fine, fine wine and spirits for about five and some change? So it's not bad for me. It's either a cup and a half, I think, depending on the size cup. So I'm gonna let this cook for a bit. And my Hawaiian chicken is still cooking. Hey mamas, I got I could do another pack of the shrimps, because I'm sitting up here eating up this one right here. And they taste good. The shrimps. Because there's a pack left. I'm gonna need one of y'all to peel the tail off the shrimps. All right, so in case you wonder what kind of shrimps I used, I used the raw shrimps, extra large, peeled, and the veins. So I'm just gonna take this in some cold water for a little bit and then I'm gonna fry those up with the rest of it. Okay, and it's 26 to 30. I got shrimps per bag. Sometimes I don't actually be that in there though. You know I know because I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, these are done. My rice is officially done, so I'm gonna add some butter to that. That's fine if you don't want to add no seasoning because half the time I don't. It tastes good by itself. The strips is popping everywhere. When the rice is done, I added a scoop of butter to that, a nice scoop. And I'm just going to add a pinch of total salt. Okay, and like I said, I really don't need no seasoning to it, but I do need to taste it. It's going to pop on me. Your own parsley flakes to it because I like colorful. Food. Jasmine rice. I'm gonna check my shrimps over here. It's popping. <laughs> I 
Oh, and I just finished washing up a bag of um, shrimp that I put out. So I'm going to fry those as well. So that'll be my last batch. Season it with a little bit more um, garlic salt. Um, flowers because I still have a little bit of flour in my bowl. Let's just shake this up a little bit. So, as far as the um, shrimp, like I said, I use garlic salt and flour, that's it. Got three different aromas smells up in here. Some sweet brown, sweet um, pineapple chicken. Got some jasmine rice. That's it for that bowl. I'm gonna let that cook. The rice is done already. Alright, the shrimp is done. I just want y'all to know I'm not a professional cook. I just cook at home for my family. And if you want to switch up on your ingredients or whatever, that's you. But this is just, like I said, like I like how I like to cook. So I don't worry about who's saying it's fat, man, it's healthy or whatever, because everybody entitled to their own opinion. But as long as my kids are happy, I'm happy. I mean, we will make better choices as of next year. But being home in this pandemic, hey, enjoy it. Can't go nowhere. Life is short. They got nothing to do with food, but I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway. Jasmine rice. Fried shrimps. I ate half the pan while I was cooking. That's what happened when you're drinking. But it's enough for a family of six. <laughs> right, my dinner is done. I made some sweet Hawaiian baked chicken. You could do it at the um, slow cooker like I did for, was that Christmas? Then I used the wings. I didn't like how those came out, but it was still good. But this time, I baked it, and I used the, um, the legs, drumsticks, to do that. Pineapple, the pineapple juice, the brown sugar, soy, um, soy sauce. That was it, but that's some chicken. Pineapple chicken. Sweet pineapple chicken. Thank you.
the smallest. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs> this is my jasmine rice. We use this to cover our rice to eat. We also had some shrimps that I ate half of while I was cooking, but we're good. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that in the light. All right, as far as this, I'm going to add parsley flakes to my um, chicken. Just to give it a little color. I don't know, but <laughs> it's all right. It's so quiet without my music. <laughs> Smells so good, y'all. Fresh out the oven. I think my voice is a little hoarse from the other day. Christmas, the day of Christmas, yelling. But that completes my meal. I do have a little bit of butter in here. No soggy rice. Mm -mm. I think it's about six and seven each pan. And this is all pineapple juice from the three cans that I had. And thanks for watching. This is a um, Tuesday dinner. I think it was a little quick though. So, this is good.